Joining us now is investigative reporter Jorge Ventura, who's one of the first on the ground covering the chaos at El Paso. Great to see you, Jorge. What do you think? Um, what do you think Biden actually saw? I mean, you, you had some amazing footage, you know, um, over a month ago, it was or roughly a month ago of what's going on there. The, the, the scenes of chaos um, well, it seems that, like they cleared it all up for this visit. Yeah, it's, it's too little, too, na too late, and the President Biden is going to see a very sanitized version of downtown El Paso. I was just there under a month ago. You saw hundreds of homeless migrants on the streets, freezing in the cold. Um, they, were, they weren't getting any help from the city. They were literally being donated blankets and sweaters from the locals there in El Paso. I even interviewed women and children that were freezing out there. On the Mexican side, there were about 3,000 migrants waiting to get in. Many of them actually, they told me they've been extorted by cartels and Mexican police. It's been a complete disaster, and right now we're the only reason we're not seeing crossings in El Paso is because the mayor actually declared an emergency, which the Biden administration uh, didn't want the mayor to do, even though the, the mayor had to, because, I mean, all the resources were used up. You have National Guard yeah. there in the presence. But uh, President Biden isn't going to see the reality. He, uh, according to the reports today, he visited a busy port of entry. Well, the illegal crossings are not happening at, at port of entries. They're, ha they're happening in between that. So you have El Paso declaring an emergency. I just left Denver, uh, which they, they had nearly 3,000 migrants dropped off uh, since December, they're actually on the brink of an emergency. It's been a complete disaster, but pre the president didn't get to see the reality today. Well, they, do, they don't want to know. Um, and so can I ask you about the policy stuff then, insofar as we can even take it seriously, it's a policy announcement. What the, 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 the prelude to this, which is what they were going on about at the White House on Thursday. I mean, is there, I mean, you, you, you know this situation. You've talked to the people there, spent time with them. Is there anything that they said that's going to make a difference to any of this? No, absolutely not. Um, all the migrants that I speak to now, they know that as long as they get on American soil, they'll be processed and released inside the United States. Uh, it actually gets to the point now, Steve, where I'm actually at the border, and when migrants are crossing illegally inside the United States, they're actually on Facebook Live or they're FaceTiming a family member. I mean, they couldn't care less. They cross over the border. They wait for Border Patrol. Um, they know that the process only takes a few days now, and then they're released to the United States, or they get either bus or flown into the city of their, of their choice. So, it's just been a complete disaster all around. And even from the migrant perspective, um, it doesn't help them out because they're being extorted by cartels. A lot of the women and children that I've interviewed have been sexually assaulted by Mexican, Mexican police and cartels. And here on the U.S. side, it just completely overwhelms um, all the facilities. I just also left Yuma, Arizona. Yuma actually has a hospital on the border with $20 million in unpaid services to uh, illegal migrants. So it's been a, a complete disaster on the Mexican side, on the U.S. side, the migrant side, and also for the American taxpayer. According to the Center of Immigration Studies, they're saying that the amount of illegal immigration that we're allowing, it's going to cost us, the taxpayers, about $100 billion. Um, and I think we still haven't yeah. even felt the real effect. It'll probably be another five, 10 years from now when we'll feel this real effect from this of border course. crisis. And that's, the, and that's the point. I mean, you know, what, in the end, what, what's the point of him going to the border if they don't change the policies, the open border policies that have incentivized millions and millions of other people to go to the border and cross it illegally? If they don't change that, nothing's going to change. Totally pointless. Jorge, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for all your uh, work covering this.